What in the blue blazes? Can't a man get a moment's peace in his own thinking spot? All right, since you're here, you might as well know this ain't your regular news. This is the adult potato. A whole bunch of tall tales about Wellington, Colorado. It's all true except for the bullshit, so don't go believe in any of it. It's just for laughs, all right? Now get lost and let me have my peace. Welcome to another episode of The Adult Potato. I'm Pepper Fry. In the January 23rd Board of Trustees meeting, a topic of great concern for the community was on the agenda. Wellington residents are known for their love of the furry residents. Our Facebook feeds post pics of animals that have somehow found their way out and about. Wonderful residents post pics of dogs they found in their garages, backyards, and even in their homes on their couches. While some see this as a lack of being good pet parents, sometimes things just happen. Lots of pet parents are at work when a fence blows down or a pet somehow figures out how to use their nose to push the doggy door block up and out of the way. So no judgment. Things just happen sometimes. In the past, we had an agreement with Larimer County Humane Society to take care of that. When they absorbed the Humane Society of Weld County last year, they rebranded to NOCO Humane Society. While all that is well and good, what is not good is the hubris that seemed to accompany that. Combine that with their absolute lack of transparency and corporate bullying, and we have a potential problem. Right off the bat, they came and wanted the board to approve a new agreement that night because the agreement involved two other parties that were also voting to agree to the contract, Thud and Timnath. Our board rightfully said that we are focused on what the residents of Wellington want and need, not what Thud and Timnath are up to. We had a very passionate public comment from Dr. Chad Zadina from Tabby Road, who spoke of his experience with the Society, a group that does use euthanasia to control pet population. While the representatives from the Society stated that they scan for microchips and contact pet owners before driving them 40 minutes away to their facility, Dr. Zadina informed us that in real life, that doesn't happen, at least not in his case. So, on top of having your pet taken 40 minutes away from home, your pet being unnecessarily vaccinated in some cases, and you being issued a summons, you then end up spending half a day in court in Larimer County on top of it. Our existing agreement with the society hadn't expired at the time of the meeting, and their heavy-handedness was in full force when they basically told local veterinarian Dr. Y. Dallas to go out of town if they wanted to throw a ball to their dog. Trustees Gator and Kinney stepped in to offer to gather input from residents, and are still doing so if you'd like to reach out to them to help understand what our residents want for the care of their furry family if they get out. What came to light is a potential agreement with our local veterinarians and a very limited agreement with the NOCO Society. Wellington is beyond blessed with multiple amazing vets. Their kindness and love for the animals in our community is beyond what we've seen in other areas. And Dr. Zadina, among others, are talking about finding a way to step up to fill the need for part of what the Society's contract included to keep our pets safe and close to home instead of over-vaccinated and over-an-hour round-trip from Wellington. Here's the thing. Heavy-handed bullying and fear tactics from outside our town limits aren't received well from the board or the residents. While you're used to backing a domesticated animal into a corner to trap them, people have the ability to tell you to fuck off. We'll figure this out ourselves. The society seems to think they hold all the cards, but our community has a few up their sleeves. Don't come walking into our house and tell us that we can't have eyes into your processes when it involves our pets in our town. No transparency. No deal. We love our pets in this town. Hell, we even dress them up in cute little outfits sometimes and feed them better than we feed our own kids. We take pet parenting very seriously around here. If we can create an agreement with our local vets, that would be greatly appreciated and would give us the ability to have an a la carte agreement with the society. It would keep our pets closer to home, avoid having to go to court in Laramere County and cost our residents less time and money in a situation where the pet owner is already freaked out because their loved pet is away from home. If you have any input on this, please reach out to either Trusty Gator or Trusty Daily. We know we have a lot of work to do when it comes to dogs at large, but if we can keep this local, we can avoid some big downfalls to having a kill center in charge of policing our local pets. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time with more local happenings. Lock your doors and double-check the lock on your gate. Let's keep our pets safe and let's keep them in Wellington. We hope you enjoy.